Hello, I'm Bird, and welcome to another enthralling episode of The Scarf My Father Wore. It is episode 16, and as always, thanks for joining me this deep into this Stockport County. Let's play series. If you are enjoying it, make sure you smash that like button. If you really want to help support me, you can always become a patron for as little as 80 pence a month. You can keep the old wife off my back. And I'm loving it. I'm loving making this series, and obviously you still like watching it. And this episode... It's probably going to be a little bit different. We're going to turn things on its head because where we are in the season, what's been going on, mix it up a bit and have a bit of fun with it, hopefully. So strap yourself in, boys and girls and everyone else in between. And let's get started. And we're starting right here with a live con. And as you can see, if you look at that table, we are top of the league. Things have been going pretty well. We're going to look at all that in a minute. But we've got games left to play in this division. Not too many. And we're sitting top of the league and come up against Charlton. And I thought this is something I think... We need to share together at home at the beautiful edge of the park. We're favourites, which is insane. They're a very good team. They've got a get well, we've got a game in hand on them, which is exciting. And we could really get a gap between them now. So let's see what happens. There's also a few little surprises for you. And you may be wondering who the hell is Munier, Williams, and Osman? Well, I made a couple of signings in January. We'll have a look at them in a bit more detail. For now, don't worry, hopefully they're gonna put on a show. Do you know who else is putting on a show? My friend, Limo. He's putting on a show. Limo57, uh, make sure you check the description down below. You'll find loads of info down there. Not just about Stockport County, but about Lee. You'll find links to his channel on Twitch and his Twitter. Go and give him a follow. I know I keep plugging the guy, but I think he's a top, top bloke. Mental health nurse who started his own little charity with a few of his colleagues. Help people with anxiety and depression. And boom! 1-0. Fucking Rawson. Great centre half him. So his 24-hour charity stream starting on the 29th of August at 10 a.m. for 24 hours. He's going to be doing FM, FIFA, um, Wreckfest, a bit of golf, I think he said, karaoke, he'll have a laugh, he takes a piss. He gets pissed. It should be a good bit of banter. It's just all just to try and raise money for charity, uh, for his organisation that does loads of work. And if you start following him, you'll realise what they do do for people. And, you know, mental health's a serious issue, isn't it? I mean, people take it a lot more serious these days. It's not something that's hidden away. People talk about it and all that and this is the kind of organization that's helped loads of men and women anyone do you know what i mean i bet you lee lee is such a nice bloke if your dog was depressed he'd be able to talk to your dog and sort his life out that's the kind of bloke here so go and support him drop him a few quid give him a follow i'll be there at some point oh boom one 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 so we have been doing pretty well as you can see we're top of the league um i did make a few changes as well uh, I did say I wasn't going to go over the five loans, but Mighty Mountain is injured. He was injured. For, he broke his leg six months out, so I only had four loans. So I needed more players, and one of our friends has helped us out. Muni, yeah! Manuel, he is some player. I'll take a look at his players after this. I just wanted to turn things around a bit. It's just a way you'll see, probably see why I'm doing it this way. I just thought this is a game we can't miss. Um, there's going to be a point for you where it's probably a split second, but for me, it's going to be ages. I'm going to have a ton of games to play. Don't know how it's going to go. Wheels could fall off the last few games. It could dip into the playoffs. Then what happens, I don't know. Um, but we've been playing fantastic recently. Like super, really, really good football. And I'm going to show you some of the... I'll show you the results. And then we'll get to it, hey? Eh? I'm going to show you the new players. I'm very excited. This is a, is a bit of fun save. I know I keep saying like the views drop off a bit. But I've done this for me, you know. And there's a good group here that really enjoy it. And I thank you for that. <laughs> I wish more people would watch it. It'd be a lot more fun. Oh, what a game. Game on, Jose Enrique. Right, we've got a free kick. Are we going to get another one? And we are. Oh, my God. No, it's like disallowed. Disallowed referee. Right, 10 minutes left in the first half. And again, same highlight. And this time we scored. But it's the other centre half. How weird was that? You know, we practiced that in the training ground. Exactly that. Except Rawson got to the first one. Sean got to the next one. Here we go. Piss right off, piss right off. Oh my god. We're not playing tennis, boys. This is football. What's going on? Well, we're pretty good teams. We're both at the top of the league and it's 3 3 at half time. Only played 45 minutes. This has been absolutely insane. I'm going to give them an ass kicking, though, because they've let the three goals in. Right then, second half has kicked off. Let's get a goal and not concede any. That'd be quite nice. I mean, defensively, we're pretty good. That's something I think we've built this. The ability to get top of the league on. Until we brought in these new players who are quite exciting. I mean, they're all quite good players. Everything's been built on defence, really. We weren't the biggest goal scorers. Here we go, here we go, Munier. Oh, look at that turn. Tripped up. He tripped up. 
Who near? I'm trying to big you up here. You trip over your own feet. Oh no, Jose Enrique. Good save. Good save. Fucking oh, come on. For now, it's going. It's neck and neck, isn't it? Like the goals have maybe dried up, but it's like two really good teams matching each other toe, for, toe to toe. Going toe to toe. Nose to nose. Okay, I made one change and Campbell's come on. Great striker was doing fantastic. It's just Munier's been banging them goals in, as you'll see in a second. So Munier can play out wide. So he's going out on the right. Um, Campbell's gone up top, freshening things up. Oh, Munier! Put me at right back, left back. Put me in goal. I'll score goals and get disallowed as well. You absolute prick. Crowd is chanting, it should be 5-3. It should be 5-3. It should be 5-3. Fuck you. It should be 5-3. It should be 5-3. It should be 5-3. Come on, boys. Two goals disallowed is Williams. He's a superb talent. Most expensive player we've ever had in the county shirt. Oh, come on. I really wanted to beat these. Get a nice cushion at the top. Make my life easier. <gasps> is it disallowed? Are, we actually, are you actually giving us that? It's Mooney Air. You can't stop the kid. You can't stop Manuel. I'm in a good mood today. You can tell he's from the continent, though, can't you? He's got freaking gloves on. He's wearing gloves. Right, do not balls this up. Don't balls it up. Just keep the ball, lads. Keep the ball. There's Williams passing inside to Osman. John fell back to Osman. Oh, vision pass. Can you find Campbell? His legs are pretty fresh. He's still a good striker. And I thought he was going to finish it off. Great save. Come on, a ball. John Feld. Unsung hero of county this year. Been an absolute beast of a player. Come on, lads. Do not balls this up. We know they can score. They're a good team. And they are charging. Finnan is no one stopping him. No one stopping him. Good tackle. Now break his legs. Break him. There you go. Hey, great way to start the episode. What a... Live Livecom. Love it. Love County. Bye bye, Charlton. There you go, boys. Girls and everyone else in between. And um, we are top of the league. Four points clear. We've still got a game in hand. How the hell has all this happened? Well, we haven't been a hundred percent perfect, but since the Coventry Livecom, um, we've done all right. We've lost two and drawn two and won the rest. Um, but I think we've been pretty um consistent because after that Coventry game is when I brought the lads in. And just been some of the games we've played some of the football has been next level so let's meet the new boys let's start with the man himself on loan from Southampton really excited to get him only cost me 1.6 grand a week which is insane obviously he's only going to be here for a couple of months but already I know I want him next year if we go par down I'm going to try my best to renew his loan because he's 18 I don't think he'll get in a Southampton team but he's a freaking talent and a half great work rate superb team player got a bit of acceleration about him his finishing doesn't blow you away, but he does at this level, and he scored 10 goals in 8 games. Outstanding little player. Next up is Suleiman Osman, and the first of two loans that's cost me nothing, because finally Chelsea came through and let me have two of their players, so I was very, very happy, and this kid is amazing. 19 years old, he's Turkish, uh, he's brave, team player, hard worker, good passer, great technique, decent physicals, 19 years old. I mean, he's been a top, top player for me. And as a defensive midfielder, he's just, just about got a seven average rating, which is outstanding because I don't think they play well and they don't always get the best average rating. His personality is fickle, but he's been brilliant for me. And again, if we can get him back, I want him because he's just class. The next kid, though, is the best. It's Mr. Alex Williams, who's worth over 10 million quid and loads of potential. Again, costing me nothing. Um, fast. Skillful, great left winger, um, and yeah, he's been amazing for us. He's only played six games, but in them six games, he's been outstanding. Set up five, scored one because uh, he got a bit of a knock, so he missed a couple of games. But yeah, I love his tash 19 with his mustache, probably smokes a pipe as well. So let's go back to the fixtures and now look at what we've got to do. And we've got six games left, so big games Stoke, Forest Green, Swansea, Bolton, massive uh, game. So are we going to stay top of the league? I don't know. And that's what I mean. I've got to play this now. And then we'll come back maybe with another live come at the end to celebrate. Or maybe playoffs. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I might have to split it up into another episode. I have no idea. Financially, though, we're not doing too bad. We're not skint. I mean, I would love 159 grand in the bank. Pay me mortgage off. Probably go take the family to Bahamas. Nice sunny holiday. 
I actually know one. I got to Cornwall. Not not worth the risk at the minute, is it? Could leave the country and not get back in. After quarantine, sod that right off. We've got Cornwall or the Lake District. Or Scotland. Right when I'm back, I've played a few games, but um it's not going to plan perfectly. And the season ain't over yet. So, first game after that was against Stoke, another team that are up there, battling for a promotion spot. And we got battered off Stoke. Taught an actual lesson, it was awful. Thank God I didn't pick this as the live com. Followed that up by dropping more points as well to the posh at home. Uh, Peterborough 1-1, one, one, Campbell getting us the goal. Um, Should have won this. I'm thinking, what the feck is going on now? Bounce back from that, away at Forest Green with an, an outstanding performance, like a real good game of ours, uh, where not a lot was created, but what we did create was top class. Three goals, 3-0. Three we needed them points because... We were going to drop some more. It's against Bolton, who were about 7th, I think, at this time. Um, so they're still up there. They still want to get in the playoffs. They'll stay in the playoffs. And uh, they're a good side. So, yeah, one win. I mean, wow. Two games left to go, but the league has gone mental, mate. And this is that league. Now, we have got our promotion. We are going up. Hey, I felt like I was going to do that, even when the wheels fall off. Are we going to go up as champions? That's what it's all about, though. So we have been promoted... Um, obviously Stoke and Charlton are up there and we're five points clear now of Stoke and we've got a game in hand on Stoke so if we play this next game and win we'll be champions so I think I'm going to live com that not the last game in the season um, which is exciting really isn't it if we're losing both things can happen so fingers crossed we can turn it on for you guys again and we're going to be playing Swansea who everyone predicted to do big things this season didn't they and they just come down with Cardiff was it and Stoke, big club, really shouldn't be in this division probably. They've been, you know, Premier League, great facilities, great players. And it shows you, doesn't it? They're supposed to do well, down in 13th. We're supposed to do shit. Could be champions, we're already promoted. We're going to be in the championship next year, which is a little bit scary. A little bit scary, but before we get into this game, let's have a look at some stuff. And that stuff is the squad, arranged by average rating. As you can see, the two new lads are sitting up there at the top. Uh, Mounier maybe uh, hasn't scored for a bit. Um, but he's still a good player. Um, and I've got a lot of good players. And like, you know, maybe sometimes the pressure's on, it's hard. We're not the best team. We've got holes, you know. And that shows we're not the most consistent team. But now, isn't it? Well, if we're not the most consistent team, what about everyone else in this league? You know, I always say this. The league does not line at the minute we are at the top. And we've got a great chance to be a champion here. A great chance to be a champion. I want to be a champ. <laughs> I want to go up as champions, sod the freaking playoffs. I think staying here for that extra years, done this, and we've got a chance of having a trophy instead of, you know, I know the, the playoff drama's been fun, on it? But I do want that trophy now. But Swansea, they might be 13, still a good team though. And we're now skint, by the way. Skint. In the red. The chairman needs to do something, he needs to sell up or invest. Because we're going to the championship, Mr. Stott. Welcome to the Liberty Stadium. We are in South Wales uh, to play Swansea. I know a couple of their lads. I don't know the, the region striker is though, but come on, lads. Let's do it. Let's win that freaking title today. So hopefully we'll just get job done. I'd take a one nil. Nice, boring shit game. I don't care now. I can't be doing with the dramatics of the Charlton game, um, but we'll see what happens in this one. But yeah, as always, honestly, thank you for sticking with it. Um, you guys have stuck with it. I really do appreciate it. Got new county fans. Um, there's people who are watching this who watched the original county coming up to five years ago, which is insane on FM16. And they've stayed with me all that time. It's just been a pleasure to do YouTube and grow my channel. And it's a hard thing to do. Football Manager YouTube, you know. So to have like over 13,000 subs, I think it's a great achievement. I know I'm not up there with the big boys, but I'm proud. And nothing's happening here. Would a draw do? A draw might do us, might it? All right then. Exciting first half. My God. Um, I'll give him an ass kick in. We'll see what happens. Oh, here we go. I like, and it's a Swansea one. Not what you like to see. I do like us in all blue, though. I think that is a lovely look. I can't lie. Because I always think when the white socks look like Chelsea. Oh, you fucking dilly dally. Dilly dallying on the ball. Wake up. Like daydreaming, man. Annoying that, that's annoying. Swansea though coming out, I say with a bit of focus. Oh, come on boys, come on. Uh, Deli Basaru's playing, he wasn't 
Ready? I've had to chuck him in though. Yeah, he can have a really good game, that lad. When he wants one. But it looks like it's a Swansea show here so far, doesn't it? Come on, lads. Let's get him on the break. Get the ball to Williams. Tackle him. Get it off him. Fuck's sake. But honestly. But yeah, it's been fun this season. So enjoyed it so much. Oh, man. He's having a shit game, isn't he, Lee? Fuck. He's having, a, he's having a bad game. But they nearly scored early because of him. And now they scored because of him. I brought him off. Uh, I just think he looked crap. What I've seen of him, he looks shit. I'm not having it. I met half asleep on the ball in an important game like this and gives it away. It's pathetic. So Shotton can cover there. He's gone out left and he's given the ball away. Well done, Williams. Right, come on, drive forward, look up, give the ball to someone. Fuck's sake. I'm not making any changes. I'm, I'm a bit pissed off, really. It's like they don't really want to win the league in style. They want to make it hard for themselves. Come on, Williams. Do you want a championship medal, boy? He wants one. He's just taking on the whole team. Oh, he deserved a goal, didn't he? And here we go, Williams hit the corner. And we're going to it. Yes. Is it a goal? It is. Kadeem Harris, you beautiful man. Here we go. This is the league table while the replay is on. And we're sitting pretty. I think a draw might do us. Oh, here we go. Well done, Clarky lad. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to trip over the feet all the time, don't they? When they're not that great a player. They run, don't they? They, like, they run too fast for the ball and leave the ball behind them. Right, come on, boys. Here's Rawson. Great centre half. Vision pass to the best player in the league. Williams, oh, brought down well by Mounier. He passes it out to Belly Bassi Ruru Ruru. Come on, Harris, wake up. Could it, wake up. He's trying. They're being fancy. Just hit it. There you go. There you go. Finish him off. Don't really deserve it, but I'll take it. There you go. Hey, you're having that. We've got our hands on the trophy. We are going up as champions of a game to go. That has probably been my fucking favourite season ever. It was not perfect. But what a freaking achievement. With no money. Shows you what you can do on this game. I think the game's got easier. I'll be honest with you. But I don't care. Because I still love it. I love this game. And I love times like this. You've got to savour these moments. Championship. <laughs> As champions. Holy shit. I've been giving me budget. We haven't got any money. But he's giving me 600 grand. I'm not going to be able to buy any players, but we haven't needed to buy anyone yet. Maybe we can do some deals. A few loans, maybe. Chelsea might help us out with a better player or two. Okay, what else am I going to do? One last look at the table. Now, I know it's not finished. Playoffs, ups and downs and relegations and all that, but I have run out of time. I've got to go back to work. What a bastard. So, I'm going to try and get all that in the next episode uh, with the summer special. And we'll have the first game of the season, maybe, in a live comp. And we'll have a look who went up and who went down. Who won the cups and all that good stuff? Who cares though, eh? It's all about the Atters. And we're going up. We are going up. So there we go. We have gone up as champions. I am super happy. Amazing achievement. I'll beat it in that last game. Give some guys a run out. Some guys probably going to get the last game, unfortunately. And we'll just catch up and everything in the next episode. What happened at the end of the season? We went up. Who went down? Who won what? Uh, who we brought in? Who's left? And we'll have a game somewhere. A good game, maybe. We're going to be playing teams next year that are in the Premier League this season. How mad's that? How mad is that? I really, I'm going to have to do some... Maybe we'll have our first relegation battle on our hands, which would be quite exciting. Be a different kind of excitement, wouldn't it? Anyway, thank you as always for watching, taking time out of your busy day to sit here with me and the scarf my father wore. I do appreciate it. Make sure you come back for episode 17. Make sure you smash that like button and make sure... If you really want to help the channel out, you become a patron and you check the links below for Lee Moe's Twitch and Twitter so you can help support him on his 24-hour mental health stream. <sighs> Love you long time. I'm booed. Bye-bye.